Welcome to the Quick Portals walkthrough video where I'll show you how to use the script. So let's begin by opening After Effects and adding a clip to a new composition. Now go to the Tracker panel and click Track Camera. Once it finishes, select some points and create a null and a camera. You can delete the null object as we don't need it. Move to the part of your video where you want to add the portal. Now in the script, you can set the duration of the portal animation until the camera flies through it. Then select one of the portal buttons of the script, and this will import the After Effects template with all the required animations, saving you the time spent creating them by yourself. The script tries to calculate where to place the portal, but every 3D track scene is different, so sometimes it's not accurate enough. If you see that the portal is not placed in the exact center of your comp, select the Align or Replace video layer and center it manually directly in the viewport. Make sure that the edges are also within the size of the comp. If not, scale up the layer until it fits the boundaries of the comp. Now open that comp to add the second video you want to transition to and drag it to the top of the comp. If you want to change the size of the portal, you can modify the size value here, then select the Align or Replace layer and click Align. And reposition the layer again if necessary. Now what if you wanted to move the portal to a previous time of your video? In that case, move the time handle at the desired time frame, select the Align or Replace layer and click Resync. As you see, this button deletes the camera keyframes after it crosses the portal, so we can only move it back in time. If you want to move it to a later point of your video, you need to start again by deleting all the portal layers. And that's exactly what this button does. It lets you remove all the elements that the script created in the active comp or in your full project. After that, simply delete your camera and create a new one from the 3D camera tracker. Now let's see how we can edit the style of each portal. For the neon portal, open the portal style comp. Select the portal style layer and go to the effect controls panel. Here you can change the saber style, shape, turbulence amount, color, glow and more. You can also use text as the shape of the portal. To change the text, turn on the visibility of the text layer and type anything directly in the viewport. And remember to turn the visibility off again. I recommend turning off the glow when using text as a shape. When using text, we need to make sure that the anchor point of the layer is within one of the letters so the camera flies through it. For example, you can see that here the anchor point is misaligned and we're not transitioning inside the text. To fix this, select the anchor point tool and move the anchor point within one of the letters. And that's it for the neon portal. For the sigil portal, the process is similar. Open the sigil style comp to edit the portal and then select the sigil style adjustment layer. Here you have four different predefined styles which you can choose. When you are editing the sigil style, I recommend turning on the activate previous checkbox as it will use proxy videos to increase the preview speed. If you turn it off, it will use the animations from the template, which are quite complex and with many layers that will slow down the preview, so make sure to uncheck this only before rendering your project. Similar to the neon portal, you can change the color, glow and other settings here. All portals come with a fly-through speed setting, which is handy if your shot is slow or very fast. Let's change it to fast for a more impactful transition. To edit the pixel portal, open the pixel style comp and select the edit style adjustment layer. You have plenty of settings you can customize here as the shape, pixel inner and outer size, turbulence amount, color and more. You can always hit the reset button 
to go back to the default settings of the portal. Let's now select a custom shape and set it up. Open this composition to add your custom shape, then delete the mask of this layer and create yours using the pen tool. You can be creative with the pixel portal by adding logos as a mask. In order to do that, you could open Adobe Illustrator, take an image of a logo, go to Object, Image Trace, and click Make and Expand. Then with the Direct Selection tool, select the masks you want to use and hit Ctrl or Command c to copy it. Then in After Effects with the layer selected, hit Ctrl or Command v to paste it. Then rescale it and tweak the portal settings as you like. With the Neon Portal, you can create special shapes by using something called Unicode characters. You can find many of them online. In order to use them, you will need to download a Unicode font. I found these two which contain many of the symbols which I use when testing. Once you install the font, find a Unicode character and copy it. Then go to the text layer, enable its visibility, change the font to the Unicode one and place the symbol. To change its size, do it from the character panel, adjusting the text font size instead of the layer scale value. Then move the anchor point as we did previously. It can also happen that the font you installed doesn't contain the symbol you like. In that case, this vertical line will appear and the text font will change to a different one. To change it back to the Unicode font, type any letter which any font should have, like a vowel or a number, and then change the font to the Unicode one. Now you can try again with a different symbol. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and make sure to tag me in your creations so I can support your work.